Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. O Heavenly King, the Comforter, Spirit of Truth, everywhere present and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and dwell in us, cleanse us from every impurity, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, blessed are you, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, and crowns you with steadfast love and tender mercy. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger and of great goodness. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Blessed are you, O Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have being. Put not your trust in princes, in sons of men, in whom there is no salvation. When their breath departs, they return to their earth. On that very day all their plans perish. Blessed is the one whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them. The Lord sets the prisoners free, the Lord opens the eyes of the blind, the Lord lifts up those who are above low, the Lord loves the righteous, the Lord watches over the sojourners, he upholds the widow and the orphan, but the way of the wicked he brings to ruin, the Lord will reign forever. Your God, O Zion, to all generations. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of the ages. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, you are immortal. For our salvation you deign to be incarnate of the holy birth giver of God and ever Virgin Mary, and without change became man. You were crucified, Christ God, trampling down death by death. 
You are one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Save us. In your kingdom remember us, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people shall revile you and persecute you, and speak all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. The memory of the righteous is praised, but you are well pleased for honor with the testimony of the Lord. For you have truly been revealed as more honorable than the prophets, since you were deemed worthy to baptize in the stream the one they foretold. Therefore, having fought and suffered for the truth, you have also joyfully preached the good tidings of God, revealed in the flesh to those in Hades. He takes away the sins of the world and grants us great mercy. O prophet, now whom you shine forth in the law, and proclaim the consolation of grace from of old in the Spirit. Even so, by appearing to men, God the Word, glad in mortal nature, intercede with the compassionate Trinity to grant us His great mercy. She who was previously barren now bears the forerunner of Christ, who is the fulfillment of every prophecy. For the prophets proclaim beforehand that having laid hands on him in the Jordan, he would be manifested as prophet, preacher, and forerunner of the Word of God. Illumined by the Spirit, your pure heart was a vessel of illustrious prophecy, for you saw the far-off things as though they were present, O prophet Nahum. Therefore we venerate you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With your sins, O Christ, give rest to the souls of your departed servants, where there is neither pain, sorrow, nor sighing, but life everlasting. 
now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Protection of Christians who is not put to shame. Unchanging mediation before the Creator. Despise not the voice of sinners' prayers. But because you are good, quickly come to help us who call on you in faith. Speedily intercede and hastily supplicate, birth giver of God, who always protects those who honor you. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. The righteous shall rejoice in the Lord and hope in Him. O oh God, hear my prayers when I make my petition to you. The reading is from the first epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to Timothy. Timothy, my son, now we know that the law is good, if anyone uses it lawfully, understanding this, that the law is not laid down for the just, but for the lawless and disobedient, for the ungodly and the sinners, for the unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers, immoral persons, sodomites, kidnappers, liars, perjurers, and whatever else is contrary to sound doctrine, in accordance with the glorious gospel of the blessed God, which I have been entrusted. I thank him who has given me strength for this, Christ Jesus our Lord, because he judged me faithful by appointing me to his service, though I formerly blasphemed and persecuted and insulted him. But I received mercy because I had acted ignorantly in unbelief, and the grace of our Lord overflowed for me with the faith and love that are of Christ Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The righteous shall flourish as a palm tree. He shall increase like the cedar in Lebanon. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. They who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Now great multitudes went with Jesus, and he turned and said to them, if anyone, come, if anyone comes to me and does not hate his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. And whoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. For which of you, intending to build a tower, does not sit down first and count the cost, 
whether he has enough to finish it. Lest after he has laid the foundation and is not able to finish, all who see it begin to mock him, saying, This man began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king going to make war against another king does not sit down first and consider whether he is able with 10,000 to meet him who comes against him with 20,000? Or else, while the other is still a great way off, he sends a delegation and asks conditions of peace. So likewise, whoever of you does not forsake all that he has cannot be my disciple. Salt is good, but if the salt has lost its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is neither fit for the land nor for the dunghill, but men throw it out. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Remember us, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember us, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember us, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. The choirs of heaven chant to you and say, Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Approach, be enlightened, and you will not be made to blush. The choirs of holy archangels and angels, with all the bodiless powers of heaven, chant to you, saying, Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, being of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man, who was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And on the third day he rose from the dead in accordance with the scriptures and descended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the age to come. Amen. O Lord our God, who by a word alone healed all diseases, who cured the kinswoman of Peter of fever, you that chastise with pity and heal according to your goodness, who are able to put aside every sickness and infirmity, may you, the same Lord, grant aid to your servants, all the residents of the St. Pantalemon ministry who are ill and afflicted, all of our relatives, loved ones, and friends, those who have asked us to remember them in our prayers, unworthy though our prayers may be, all of those who are afflicted with the coronavirus throughout the world, and all of those who have no one to pray for them, and cure them of every sickness of which they are grieved, and send down upon them your great mercy. And if it be your will, give to them health and a complete recovery. For you are the physician of our souls and bodies, and to you we send up glory. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Christ, our eternal King and God, you have destroyed death and the devil by your cross, and have restored man to life by your resurrection. Give rest, O Lord, to the souls of your servants, all the residents of the St. Pantalemon ministry who have departed this life, all of our departed relatives, loved ones, and friends, those who are newly departed, and all those who have departed this life throughout the ages. In your kingdom where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering, in your goodness and love for mankind, pardon all the sins they have committed in thought, word, or deed, 
for there is no one who lives and sins not. You only are without sin, for you are the resurrection, the life and the repose of your servants who have departed this life of Christ our God. To you we send up glory with your eternal Father and your all holy good and life-creating spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. O God, absolve, remit, and pardon our voluntary and involuntary sins, in word and deed, known and unknown, by day and by night, in mind and thought. Forgive us all in your goodness and love for the human race. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. All holy trinity, coessential might, kingdom undivided, source of all good, be gracious to me, a sinner. Establish and give understanding to my heart. Remove every defilement from me, enlighten my mind, that I may continually glorify, chant hymns and worship you, saying, One is holy, one is Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord henceforth and forevermore. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. My soul will be praised by the Lord. Let the meek hear and be glad. Magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and he delivered me out of all my troubles. Come to him and be radiant, and your faces will not be ashamed. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord will camp around those who fear him, and will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who hopes in him. Fear the Lord, all you his saints because those who fear him lack nothing. The rich become poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord will not be in want of anything good. It is truly proper to bless you, forgiver of God, ever blessed and most pure, and the mother of our God. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement, you gave birth to God the Word, true birth giver of God. We magnify you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, O Lord bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. O Prophet, now whom you shine forth in the law, and proclaim the consolation of grace from of old in the Spirit, even so, by appearing to men, God, the Word, glad in mortal nature, intercede with the compassionate Trinity to grant us His great mercy. Illumined by the Spirit, your pure heart was a vessel of illustrious prophecy, 
For you saw the far off things, as though they were present, O prophet, Nahum. Therefore we venerate.